Do you like to wear new clothes? Do you like different type of fabrics? Can you tell us about the material of the socks we are using in our daily life? Are we getting them only from the nature or we can make them artificially? Let's go for a deep discussion about them. We, Anila Thomas as the presenter and Yashika as the interpreter are teaching you an interesting chapter, synthetic fiber and plastic with some different manner. Learning objectives. Keywords Natural fiber Synthetic fiber Cellulose Nylon Rayon, polyester, acrylic, blending, terricot, terrylene. Terry wool. We love to wear new dress. We use different types of clothes for different purpose in our regular life like school dress, gym costume, woolen garments. Most of them are made up of synthetic fiber like rayon, polyester or nylon. By the way, sometimes they are made up of natural fiber also. So, fiber can be of two types. First, natural fiber. Second, synthetic fiber. If we collect the fiber either from a plant or an animal means obtained from the nature, it is called natural fiber. So, there are two sources of natural fiber. First, plant source. Second, animal source. We can get cotton from the fruit of cotton plant. Jute from the stem of jute plant. Whereas silk is obtained from the silk worm and wool, yes, we get wool from the sheep. Synthetic fibers. The fibers, those are made by human beings are called synthetic or man-made fibers. For example, polyester, 
nylon, acrylic, etc. You have seen pearl necklace or train. A pearl bead is attached with another and that is also attached with the next and so on. Likewise, a train has many bogies lined to form a full train. Both are formed from small units like pearl bead or bogie to a pearl necklace or train. This long chain of small unit attached to each other is called polymer. Polymers are macromolecules formed by the combination of large number of simple molecules, monomers. Polymers occur in nature also. For example, cotton is a polymer named cellulose. Cellulose is made up of large number of glucose units. Natural fibers can be defined as bio-based fibers or fibers from vegetable and animal origin. The benefit of those sustainable resources is that they can be regrown within the foreseeable future without negative side effects on global biodiversity and on the other hand, they are not inflammable also. Although natural fibers like cotton and silk are comfortable to wear, made by low hazard manufacturing process, but they are not sufficient to meet all our needs. They have a number of demerits also. They do not possess specific desirable properties. Synthetic fiber has some advantages like it is cheaper than natural fibers. It has high durability. It is wrinkle free and can easily dry on getting wet. Some synthetic fibers are nylon, rayon, acrylic, polyester. Nylon is another man-made fiber. In 1931, it was made without using any natural raw material from plant or animal. It was the first fully processed synthetic fiber. It became popular during Second World War and replaced silk in most hosiery articles such as stockings. It was prepared from coal, water and air. Hey, do you know why is nylon used for making cloth? Nylon fiber is strong, elastic and light. It is lustrous and easy to wash also. This is the reason. We use many articles made from nylon such as socks, ropes, tents, 
toothbrushes, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains, etc. Nylon has replaced wool as the fiber which is used in carpets. Nylon is also used in making parachutes. Rock climbers use nylon ropes to climb mountains. It is used in making of swimsuits, sheer hosiery, sails, umbrella cloth, dress materials, car tires, etc. A very much interesting fact we are going to discuss now. A crackling sound can be heard when clothes are taken off. But why? This is due to static electricity. It is easily created in nylon fabrics. It also easily catches fire. So, we should not wear nylon clothes while cooking, welding, working near a fire or using heavy machineries. Now, I have a question to you. What is stronger? Electric thread or nylon thread? Let's think. I'll tell you at the last. Nylon is a polymer made of chemical units called polyamides. Polyamides are made with monomers. Hexamethylene diamine, and adipic acid. Solid chips of these polyamides are melted and forced through a heated spinneret which has very, very tiny holes. The size and shape of the holes changes the characteristics of the resulting fiber. The fiber solidifies as it cools and can be spun or woven. The production of silk originated in China before 5000 years ago within the Yangshou culture. Though it later would reach other places in the world, the art of silk production remained confined to China until the Silk Road opened at 114 BC. Silk fiber obtained from the silk worm was discovered in China and was kept as a closely guarded secret for a long time. Fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly. But its beautiful texture fascinated everybody. Attempts were made to make silk artificially. Towards the end of the 19th century, scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that of silk. The first commercial production of artificial silk was achieved in USA in 1911. 
but this fiber was named as rayon only in 1924. The first rayon factory in India was established in Kerala in 1946. Such a fiber was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp. This fiber was called rayon or artificial silk. How rayon is prepared? The cellulose that was collected from the wood or bamboo pulp is treated with several chemicals. First, sodium hydroxide is added and then carbon disulfide to the cellulose. The cellulose dissolves in chemicals added to it and gives a syrup called viscose. Viscose is forced through a spinneret, a metal plate with very very tiny holes into a solution of dilute sulfuric acid. This gives us silk like threads. The threads are cleaned with soap and dried. This new fiber is called rayon, which is an artificial silk. Rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets. It is mixed with wool in making of carpets. It is often used in fashion and home furnishings. Rayon is also found in sanitary products. Diapers and bandages and lint for dressing wounds. Advantages of using rayon. Rayon is cheaper than silk. It can be woven like silk fiber. It can be dyed in variety of colors. Disadvantages of using rayon. Rayon is not perfect fiber to prepare all fabrics. Because as it is made up from plant cellulose, it absorbs water easily. Absorbing water makes rayon weak and cause the fiber to break. You must have seen people wearing shuts and other dresses. Do you know what is the material used for this shirt? That is polyester. Polyester is the most commonly used synthetic fiber. Polyester fibers revolutionized the fabric industry and changed the costume culture. Another name of polyester is Dacre. This is polymer of 
एथिलीन ग्लाइकॉल एंड टेरेफेलिक एसिड 